I'm a uh, retired New York City police officer and for the last 10 of my 20 years with the department I was assigned to the SWAT team and I work directly with uh, three of the uh, remote mobile investigators, the robots that the uh, department had. They were basically bomb disposal machines that we in the SWAT team used to send in on uh, hostage situations and barricaded perpetrators, emotionally disturbed people. Anybody threatening to shoot the first cop that comes to the door? Well, it's not going to be me. It would be the bucket of bolts and we'd let the machine take the abuse. And about 25 years ago, my late wife and I were up here antiquing and we happened to be in a toy store looking for something for my cousin's birthday and Margo spotted a little plastic robot in the toy shop. And she said, oh honey, isn't this cute? You work with robots. Here's a toy robot. I'll buy it for you. Isn't that cute? So uh, I agreed and she bought it for me. And then a few months later, she bought me a second one for my birthday. And a few months later, she bought me a third one for Christmas. And 25 years later, it just got way out of control. If I could meet a robot, Robert the Robot. He was originally made by the Ideal Toy Company in 1954. And he was state-of-the-art, high-tech robot toy for his time. He was actually the first American-made talking toy. There's a little plastic record inside him and a crank handle on the back. And we, when you turn the handle, it turned the record and he spoke. And he would say, uh, I am Robert Robot, Mechanical Man. Drive me and steer me wherever you can. I am Robert Robot, the Mechanical Man. And for 1954, that was, that was it. I enjoy seeing the young people come through here because this is their future. This is what they're going to have commonplace in their lives and their homes as much as uh, folks of our generation take you know, dishwashers and clothes dryers and, and washing machines for granted. Years ago, you know, you had, to, you had to go down to the river and beat your clothes on the rock in order to get them clean. Now we have a mechanical device that will do that for us. And in the future, kids, when they grow up, will have a mechanical device that will do not only their clothes and their dishes, but dozens and dozens of other things. And that device will be in the form of a, of a bipedal anthropomorphic individual. It'll be a, a robot.